there is a great confusion that am I introvert or extrovert? And this question arises in millions of people's mind. कि मैं इंट्रोवर्ट हूं या एक्सट्रोवर्ट हूं और इफ आई एम इंट्रोवर्ट अगर मैं इंट्रोवर्ट हूं इज इट गुड टू बी इंट्रोवर्ट और इफ आई एम एक्सट्रोवर्ट इज इट गुड टू बी एक्सट्रोवर्ट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट सबसे पहले मैं बताना चाहूंगा मेरे पास दो तरीके के स्टूडेंट्स आए वन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स केम एंड टोल्ड मी सर आई एम कंफर्टेबल वाइल डूइंग सम फॉर्मल कन्वर्सेशन एंड ऑफिशियल कन्वर्सेशन बट जब मैं अपने दोस्तों के साथ साथ समोसा जलेबी और वो मूवीज वेब सीरीज की बात करता हूँ ना तो आई फील वेरी बैड मुझे बड़ी दिक्कत होती है आई डोंट नो मैं समझ नहीं पाता हूँ आई एम अनेबल टू लाफ मैं मुस्कुरा नहीं पाता हूँ हंस नहीं पाता हूँ हंसा नहीं पाता हूँ ह्यूमर ह्यूमर कुछ नहीं कर पाता हूँ एंड आई एम लाइक ब्लैंक कम्प्लीटली वट शिल आई स्पीक नाउ आई फील शाय मुझे बड़ी दिक्कत होती है सर मैं क्या मैं इंट्रोवर्ट हूँ या मैं इंट्रोवर्ट हूँ तो मैं इसका कैसे समाधान करूँ एक स्टूडेंट भागता भागता आया अरे सर 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 लिसन टू मी सुनिए मैंने कहा बोलो भाई कह रहा सर मैं अपने दोस्तों से बात तो करता हूँ तो देन आई एम कंफर्टेबल बड़ी आराम से रहता हूँ बट वेन आई गो फॉर फॉर्मल कन्वर्सेशन ऑफिशियल कन्वर्सेशन सम प्रजेंटेशन एंड वेन आई जस्ट टॉक टू सम एल्डर्स एंड सीनियर्स ऑफिशियल पीपल आई फील लाइक ओ एम जी एंड आई फील दैट ओ माई गार आई गो ब्लैंक एंड आई कैन नॉट टॉक एंड टैकल दिस सिचुएशन सो आई गॉट द आंसर and let's understand deeply about these two words because th these two words are the personality traits ye dono jo shabd hain wo personality ke traits hain and sometimes when you become deep introvert it is called personality disorder and when you become over extrovert it is also personality disorder let's balance which is called ambivert that sometimes you need to be extrovert sometimes you need to be introvert and first let's understand the definition and the description of introversion or introvert personality introvert personality always tries to enjoy his company it means he feels and he feels good to be alone and lonely that is called sometimes it becomes loneliness sometimes it becomes solitude and when it is it is when it is loneliness it is bad when it is solitude it is good in the solitude situation what happens the person enjoys his company and enjoys himself in the loneliness he feels that adhura incomplete and he wants to actually accompany with somebody where he feels lack and where he feels weak that is why it's not good to be alone it's not good to feel loneliness it's good to feel solitude the right so this is one of the trait of this personality disorder which is an introversion personality disorder or introvert and the second point is that he avoids group he avoids events he avoids functions he avoids grouping he avoids discussion he avoids events and he avoids programs and conversation so he likes to feel alone live alone he likes to have his own thoughts he doesn't listen to others doesn't uh, try to involve in others he doesn't have that leadership quality he doesn't have the team management quality he doesn't have the aptitude and attitude of group discussion and group building team building he lacks if he is an introvert personality but is it really very bad to be introvert no absolutely not sometimes we think that if you are an introvert personality you are a shy personality if you are an introvert personality you are a depressed personality if you are an introvert personality you have anxiety or you are anxious personality no it's not like that feel relaxed and feel cool stay cool stay calm and composed right what you need to understand here you need to understand like introvert personality means where you just avoid the number of the people where you feel and enjoy your company where you have your own thoughts but sometimes it's okay and if you are taking it carrying it to the solitude zone but it is very bad when you are avoiding just the people and you are just you know losing in yourself and that's really sometimes bad let's talk about for example if you talk about sankaracharyas if you talk about devotees if you talk about all the babas and if you talk about the maharishi mahamuni and all these people that they were into what in their personalities in their times right but they became one of the greatest dedicated people and they just you know proved that yes they are into what and being into what they proved that they are so strong because if you want to be creative innovative powerful and strengthened so you have to be into what sometimes and you have to isolate from the colorful world and the, uh, what i can say that the you know rushing world and bhag daud wali world but let's talk about types of introverts ladies and gentlemen so first of all 
you know there is emotional introvert where you feel and where you go into your emotions and don't understand other emotions and where you feel loosey 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 into in your emotions right that's called introvert emotions then we have introvert thoughts where you just feel that okay this is one of my thoughts you are just you know somewhere you know like in your thoughts in your thoughts in your thoughts and you are unable to take a firm decision and a solid decision so this is also one of the weak point where you are not able to take a firm and solid decision so it is also one of the disorder of being introvert and having introversion personality right and let's talk about another point which is also about social introversion where you don't try to interact others where you don't try to communicate with others where you don't try to involve with others and that is absolutely bad sometimes because you don't value others and people will not be attra attracted to you that's why sometimes introversion personality uh it's it becomes disorder and we must resolve it we must solve it out right okay so these are types of introversion and what may be the wrong things what may be the bad points of introversion or introvert personality that he or she may lose a lot of learnings and a lot of license he or she may be uh, lo may lose a lot of a uh, lot of inherit inheritance of knowledge and information and social ability social interaction and he also may or he or she may lose interpersonal skills which may harm them and he or may uh, he or she may lose that leadership and group discussion skills and an effect communication is because that's why from introversion to extroversion why is it important to come and why is it important to do many people are there isolated and they are just straying anxious and they just you know can't communicate with others they go to the party they go to the shadi they go somewhere they go for some events and seminars like they don't try to just communicate with others they feel isolated they go to a corner they sit there they feel the chill all right when they go for eating they take the pani puli sabzi and they eat and they go back like you know they just you know i don't understand that why it's what happening and they also just try to feel they also feel that oh my god i'm something doing something wrong i should not do it but they just you know can't understand it why is it happening with them and how can they remove it and how can they overcome it right so let's understand that how to remove this introversion personality in some cases right but never feel that your shyness your shame your depression your anxiety your stress are your actually you know introversion right let's talk about extrovert personality what is extrovert personality extrovert always does not mean that you are so much you know mumbling fumbling or so much you know like talking like a motor mouth and you're garrulous your chatterbox chatty and or talkative no it doesn't mean that it means it it means sometimes gregarious we can say that sometimes Sometimes it's a gregarious. Sometimes it's like yes, you are so much talkative. But most important point is that you are social. You are social. You are samajik. Whenever you, the moment you go somewhere, you socialize others. Okay. The next uh, profit of this or the next symptom of this is interpersonal skills. Like you try, you just meet somebody, you involve, you shake hand, you hug, and you just try to, you know, just try to ask his approach him. Right. You try to propose him, approach him. So approaching ability, approaching attitude is. actually comes under extra what personality or extra version or extra version we need to actually keep in mind let's talk about one of the other traits of this extroversion or extraversion personality where you feel good company where you like to enjoy where you like to celebrate where you like to approach where you like to propose where you like to communicate where you like to interpersonal where you like to ask about others where you like to learn where you like to take a firm decision where you like to just build a team where you like to communicate effectively where you like to show your leadership where you like to involve and interact in group discussion and some grouping activity is this is called actually a trait of per, you know extroversion or extraversion personality that's what you need to understand that and let's talk about types of extrovert personality first of all emotional extrovert personality right extroverted emotionally so extroverted emotionally what does it mean that when you have an emotion you try to share with others you also try to balance it understand it respect it value it and try to share with others and have some kind of backup support have some kind of push ups and encouragement and support for your those emotions let's talk about another point and that is called extroverted extroverted feeler extroverted feeler whatever you feel you respect it you enjoy it you understand it for example sometimes what happened ki mujhe kisi ladki se mohabbat ho gayi ladki se mohabbat ho gayi maine apne dil mein us zakhmon ko dabaya hua hai 
लड़की से कहना चाहता हूँ कि काजल आई लव यू सो मच मैं तुमसे बहुत ज़्यादा प्यार करता हूँ लेकिन काजल के सामने जब भी आता हूँ मेरी आंखें झुक जाती हैं मैं भाग जाता हूँ मैं इत, मैं बार बार जब भी काजल से दूर जाता हूँ तो मैं काजल के नाम को जपता हूँ कि काजल काश मेरी जिंदगी में आ जाए बट जब काजल सामने आती तो मैं काजल के से कह नहीं पाता हूँ आई लव यू इसका मतलब मैं एक इंट्रोवर्ट पर्सनैलिटी हूँ मैं काजल से नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ लेकिन जो मेरी फीलिंग है मैं अगर एक्सट्रोवर्टेड फीलर हूँ तो काजल जैसे मेरे सामने आएगी उसको मैं बोलूँगा काजल आई लव यू सो मच तुम्हारी अदाएँ तुम्हारी फिजाएँ जो भी है आई लव यू सो मच बिकॉज ऑफ दिस स्टाइस एंड दिस ब्यूटीफुल यू नो स्माइस आई लव यू तो इट मीन्स दैट मैं एक एक्सट्रोवर्टेड फीलर हूँ या इंट्रोवर्टेड फीलर हूँ अगर मैं एक एक्सट्रोवर्टेड फीलर हूँ तो मैं अपनी फीलिंग्स को एक्सप्रेस कर दूंगा अगर मैं इंट्रोवर्टेड फीलर हूँ तो मैं अपनी फीलिंग को दबा के रखूँगा और वो मेरी फीलिंग धीरे धीरे सप्रेस हो जाएगी एंड ऑल्सो एक्सट्रोवर्टेड सोशली When I am extroverted socially, or I'm socially extrovert person, I would like to share my points with others. I would like to share my decision with others, my just you know expectations with others. I would like to share my kind of thoughts with others. And there is one more point that's extroverted thoughtfully or extroverted according to in terms of thoughts. आपकी सोच से आप extrovert होना जो सोच है आप उसको पूरी तरीके से respect करो उसको लोगों से बताओ और लोगों को सम लोगों तक पहुंचाओ and this is called extroverted thoughts. तो extroverted thoughts are also very important for your personality development and for building your communication skills and extrovert personality right let's understand if you are shy and if you are you know feel if you feel anxious and if you feel fear or get frightened on the stage and you get nervousness on the stage or while sharing with uh, something to others or while talking to others while presenting yourself then you just have to be extrovert you try to explore yourself go and meet new people unknown people or try to involve in some different activities in group activities try to involve and participate in group discussions try to involve and participate in presentations try to involve and participate in some kind of you know sports uh, sports activities where you will be talking approaching communicating and understanding and listening to others ladies and gentlemen believe me and trust me that when you adapt yourself in different situations you will be socially strong and you will be socially strengthened and this is going to help you and you are going to empower yourself in a, that way that you are you are going to just you know make yourself that much effective and impactful and empowered that so a, no, a, a lot of number of people that will respect you and they will be you will be an approaching personality where you would like to approach others where you will also accept others approaches and where you will feel flexible relaxed calm composed chill and 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 positive and optimist that's why it's important to be socially involved and extrovert and if you are introvert don't try to hate yourself but be and be word balance yourself make yourself strong and that much positive and broad in mind so that you can accept each and everything and you can also make yourself strong thank you very much and i hope that this video is going to help you for you building your personality and just to grow your personality. Thank you.